This is part two of the Super Pro Designer Overview. If you have not yet watched part one of this video series, please watch that video prior to watching this video. At the end of part one, I showed you various charts that Super Pro creates. In addition to these charts, Super Pro generates a variety of reports that summarize the equipment utilization, material usage, economic results, etc. These reports provide additional details about the process for engineers, scientists, managers, and operators. For instance, the Materials and Streams report gives an overall summary of the process, breaks down the total amount of material required per year, batch, or kilogram of main product, and gives the compositions and physical properties of each individual stream. Other material balance reports available from SuperPro provide information that is specific to emissions reporting and liquid and solid wastes. Furthermore, SuperPro Designer is equipped with thorough cost analysis capabilities, estimating the capital as well as the operating costs of a process. SuperPro generates three reports related to cost analysis. The format of the economic evaluation report is appropriate for greenfield type projects for new facilities. It provides information on equipment cost, capital investment, annual operating cost, annual revenues, profitability, and more. By scrolling down in this report, we can see the costs associated with each individual equipment item. These costs are automatically calculated by SuperPro based on the type and size of each equipment item, as well as adjustments for factors such as an item's material of construction. Alternatively, if you have quotes for specific equipment items, you can enter those values directly into SuperPro. Scrolling down further, we can see the estimates for the fixed capital costs. These values are based on factors that are equipment or process specific, and which may be modified by the user or retrieved from the database. Scrolling down again, we see breakdowns for the costs associated with labor, materials, consumables, waste disposal, and utilities. These values are all automatically calculated by SuperPro based on the quantities of each resource required over the course of a year, as well as the unit cost of each of these items. Finally, we can see the operating cost summary, which totals up the various operating costs, as well as the profitability analysis, which provides relevant financial metrics for project evaluation. Other financial reports provide a cash flow analysis for the project and an itemized accounting of the various process costs by process section. The itemized cost report can be used to identify the economic hotspots of a process, which have the greatest impact on capital or operating costs. Optimization efforts can then be focused on these hotspots since they have the potential to provide the greatest savings. SuperPro's financial reports can also be used to compare different processing scenarios in order to understand capital and operating cost trade-offs and to determine which processing scenarios would be most profitable under various assumptions. If you are interested in understanding more about SuperPro's cost analysis capabilities, please view the cost analysis tutorial under the training videos page of our website. Other reports available from SuperPro provide additional details on equipment capacity utilization and uptime, CIP skid sizing, etc. It is also possible to generate batch sheets, also called operating instructions, from SuperPro with information on the various operations required to run the complete process. Finally, before leaving the topic of reports, it is important to mention that all of these reports can be easily customized in order to include or exclude certain information. For instance, you can include or exclude dates, logos, charts, etc. Furthermore, the reports can be generated in many formats, including PDF, Word, Excel, XML, and more. In addition, you can customize the content of specific reports. After reviewing the main outputs of SuperPro, you can refine the process to improve its efficiency and profitability. Depending on the specific process and the equipment and resources available to it, there may be various other optimization strategies available to you. These strategies include, but are not limited to, scaling the process up or down in order to optimize equipment capacity utilization, increasing the number of cycles per batch in a capacity limiting equipment item such as a filter or chromatography column, replacing capacity constrained equipment with larger equipment, 
adding multiple equipment units that can run in staggered mode when there are time bottlenecks, reusing an equipment item with excess free time for multiple unit procedures within the same batch, hiring additional staff in order to reduce or eliminate plant downtimes, building additional utility capacity, adding more cleaning skids, etc. All of these options and their corresponding financial impacts can be analyzed using SuperPro. Now that you have seen some of the main outputs of SuperPro Designer, let's take a look at some of the examples that come with SuperPro. Note that you can download a free demo version of SuperPro from the downloads page of our website. To do so, just go to www.intelligent.com and click on the Downloads menu. Downloading the demo version of SuperPro gives you access to many different examples in a variety of industries including biotech pharmaceutical, synthetic organic chemistry, tablet manufacturing, food, biofuel, waste treatment, brewing, and more. Most of the examples come with one or more SuperPro files as well as one or more README files in Word format which, which describe the process, the key model inputs, and the key outputs. Depending on your operating system, if you accept the default installation settings, the SuperPro examples will be installed in one of two locations shown here. Let's take a look at some of these examples now. Here you see a flow sheet for the production of a synthetic pharmaceutical intermediate which is formed by condensation of quinaldine and hydroquinone. Several reactions and separation steps are required to synthesize and purify the product. This example comes with eight SuperPro files and two README files. The first README file focuses on issues of process scale-up, cycle time reduction, and throughput increase. The second README file explains how to take advantage of the database capabilities of SuperPro for facilitating and standardizing cost analysis. This example is of interest to people dealing with development and manufacturing of small molecule APIs, fine chemicals, specialty chemicals, and those dealing with batch processing in general. This next example is a biopharmaceutical process for the production of a therapeutic monoclonal antibody using animal cell culture. This is a relatively complex flow sheet due to the large number of inoculum preparation procedures at the beginning of the flow sheet and the large number of purification procedures towards the end. This example includes two additional SuperPro models that are more detailed than this and provide information on how to model buffer preparation and holding activities. The README file of this example is very thorough and provides information on the use of staggered equipment for cycle time reduction, detailed modeling of chromatography steps, representation of transfer panels and delivery lines, inline dilution of concentrated buffers, loss of buffers in pipes, use of disposable units, and several other advanced modeling concepts. If you are interested in understanding this model in greater detail, you can also view the monoclonal antibody production tutorial under the training videos section of our website. You can also study its readme file. This example is of interest to people working with biopharmaceuticals, batch chemical processes, and biochemical processes. Note that SuperPro ships with two other protein production examples, including a biosynthetic human insulin production example and the beta-galactosidase example that was shown earlier. This next process shows an example for making pharmaceutical tablets. The process involves mixing of the active pharmaceutical ingredient with various excipients, milling the suspension, drying and granulation, tablet formation, and coating. This example is recommended for people dealing with solid dosage processes. Another example related to secondary pharmaceutical manufacturing is the vial manufacturing example. This example deals with a process that manufactures 5 milliliter lyophilized vials containing a therapeutic protein. For a typical biopharmaceutical product, the fill finish step involves thawing of the frozen product protein solution, preparation of the fill buffer, sterile filtration of the solution, and filling into vials. Finally, lyophilization is carried out and the vials are inspected before being released for packaging and distribution. This example is recommended for people working with fill finish processes. Moving on to biofuels and biomaterials, this next example deals with the conversion of corn stover to ethanol. Corn stover is an abundant source of lignocellulosic biomass in the United States and other parts of the world. 
This model can be readily modified to represent conversion of other types of lignocellulosic biomass, such as sugarcane bagasse, wheat straw, rice straw, softwood, switchgrass, etc. The plant scale for the base case has a feedstock flow rate of 2,000 metric tons per day of dry mass of corn stover. The plant generates 18 metric tons per hour of fuel-grade ethanol. A more detailed SuperPro model for this process has been developed by researchers at the Joint Bioenergy Institute in California. That model is available to the public and can be downloaded from econ.jbei.org. SuperPro models for the production of ethanol from corn and other sources of starch have been developed by researchers at the USDA Research Center in Philadelphia and are available to the public as well. You can download them from the literature page of our website. Note that SuperPro also ships with an example of the production of biodiesel from de-gummed soybean oil. SuperPro also ships with a biomaterial example related to production of citric acid. Citric acid is a commodity organic acid used in the food and beverage industries to preserve and enhance flavor. Citric acid is produced via fermentation. The upstream section of this process, shown in green, operates in batch mode, whereas the downstream section, shown in blue, operates continuously. The equipment occupancy chart for this process is shown here. As you can see, there are a total of seven fermenters which operate in staggered mode. One fermenter is harvested daily. Once the downstream processing equipment items are engaged with the first batch, they run continuously until the production campaign is complete. Note that the README file for this example provides information on how to model processes that include batch as well as continuous units. This example provides good material for those who wish to model other commodity biochemicals such as lactic acid, succinic acid, etc. This next model is a food processing example. It represents an integrated milk processing plant that produces cheese, butter, whey protein concentrate, and food grade ethanol. The plant operates around the clock and processes 2,000 metric tons of milk daily. The flow sheet of this process consists of four sections, cheese making, butter making, whey protein concentrate making, and ethanol making. Note that the SuperPro installation includes another food example which models the production of dehydrated orange juice powder. Staying on the topic of things you ingest, this next example is sure to be popular with many people. It simulates the operation of an industrial beer production and packaging facility. Here, barley malt and corn grits are converted to beer through the fermentation of starched-derived sugars by brewer's yeast. The plant production scale is 126,000 liters of beer per batch. If you are interested in understanding this model in greater detail, you can view the brewery tutorial under the training videos section of our website. This next example focuses on the biological treatment of industrial wastewater and demonstrates how to track the fate of multiple chemical components in such a facility. Note that this process is entirely continuous meaning that there is no scheduling information and each unit procedure contains a single continuously run operation. In addition, this process includes recycle loops, such as this one. If you are interested in learning more about modeling of continuous processes and convergence of recycle loops, please view the continuous process tutorial videos on our website. Note that SuperPro ships with five additional environmental examples, including the Munwater example, which deals with biological treatment of municipal wastewater. Its README file explains how to model organic nitrogen removal by incorporating anoxic zones in the bioreactors. Other environmental examples include the GE file, which deals with physical treatment of industrial wastewater and recycling of purified water. The UP water example, which deals with production of ultra-pure water, contamination, physical treatment and recycling. The air control file, which is an air pollution control example dealing with removal of particulates and VOCs. And incineration, which is a simple incineration process example. Furthermore, the files in the COM subfolder explain how to drive SuperPro through Excel, MATLAB, and other programming languages in order to automate sensitivity analysis, 
do mathematical optimization, perform Monte Carlo simulations, etc. In addition, the miscellaneous subfolder includes a number of small examples that explain how to initialize and model batch kinetic reactions, how to record and plot profiles of such reactions, how to model batch distillation, how to model live steam heating, and various other topics. Finally, I would like to mention that we have numerous other examples that we can make available to you if you tell us your interests. For instance, here you see the flow sheet of a hydrometallurgical process. Documentation is not available for these additional examples, but you will still be able to understand them if you are familiar with SuperPro. As you can see, the scope of SuperPro is quite broad. It is utilized from early stage development for screening and evaluation of potential projects to later stage development for cost analysis, equipment sizing and evaluation and process improvement, and finally to full-scale manufacturing for throughput analysis, debottlenecking, and technology transfer. SuperPro is also the only tool with integrated cost analysis capabilities that can handle batch and continuous processes equally well. Furthermore, as you can see from the variety of examples available, SuperPro's process modeling capabilities provide value to the vast majority of the process industries. This concludes the overview of SuperPro Designer and the brief descriptions of the examples that are shipped with it. As noted previously, you can download a free demo version of SuperPro, including all the examples that I have discussed, by visiting our website at www.intelligen.com and clicking on the Downloads menu. For detailed information on how to build SuperPro models, please watch the SuperPro tutorial videos posted under the training section of our website. Pertinent publications and additional examples can be downloaded from the literature page of our website at www.intelligent.com slash literature. Hopefully this video has answered many of your questions about SuperPro's capabilities. However, there is much more to SuperPro than we can cover in this brief introduction. If you would like additional information, please do not hesitate to contact us for a web presentation of the tool. Thank you for your attention and your interest in SuperPro Designer.